Okay, welcome to Nintendo Talk. This is the Green Falcon 171. Yes, and his voice sounds different because, well... Crap. Yes. No, I didn't mean to do that. Go back. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, this, uh, this is Nintendo Talk where we talk about various Nintendo titles. This happens. And some of them might not be Nintendo, but they are on a Nintendo console. Yes, and I accidentally leaked the first, I mean the second one on accident, like just two seconds ago. So, you should know what it is. LOL. Tonight's episode, we have Super Mario 3D Land and Zombie U. Yes, very true. We will be doing two games per episode and try to make them about five minutes long. Yes, and well, we will be talking about each game, memories from the game, and our rating. At the end, we'll do our rating. Yes, and mine. So, now that you got this all settled up in your mind, why don't we say we start? Okay, uh, you first, Danny. Okay. Starting off first day, we are doing Super Mario 3D Land, as I already said. Um, this game is really fun, but can also be a pain in the butt. Because when I first got it, I was at, like, World 5, and I was at the final castle, and, like, I need to get, like, more star coins so I can get on the castle. So that really made me mad. Yeah. Did that happen to you, Black Falcon? Of course. Well, no, not really. <laughs> anyway, Black Falcon, let's hear some of your thoughts. Uh, well, I can really remember from, like, a day ago where, uh, I was playing Super Mario 3D Land and, uh, I was, like, trying to do get to the Golden Crown level because I'm going back and getting all the three coins and pain in the ass. But anyway, um, yeah, I can remember doing that and dying so many times, even though I had infinite lives. Well, 1,111, but anyway. <laughs> also, I have a few complaints about the game. Yeah? Like, most of us saw this coming. Speech got stolen by Bowser. I mean, I just wish they could have made it, like, it took Peach and Daisy, you know, like, and all the code, and you have to rescue a whole bunch of them. Yeah. It's really the same thing every time. Yeah. It, I hope in the next game after you do that, it's going to be a little more fun. Yeah. And also, the delay made a huge comeback of the Genuki suit. Yes, I was really happy about that. Uh, I enjoyed be being in the Genuki suit once again in the Mario Adventure. Yes, and I believe you were able to play the one where he had the original t Tanuki suit because I believe you have an uh, NES and an NES, SNES, and you can play those games easily. Yeah, and also, in 3D Land, the levels are, in the beginning, like in the first five worlds, they're like really I mean, the castles, they're not much different from each other. Or the boss pirate ships. Yeah. I really wish they would have had all, like, eight Koopa kids and then Bowser's the final boss. Yeah. And also, where did the Snoopy tree come from? We have never seen that in a Mario adventure. Yeah, and like I said in my first video for my LP of this, which is on hold, but anyway, like, I always thought once you saw that, it's like, oh, you can go back on the first level if you go there and then click on that, the button that actually takes you to the warp place, but I didn't know that at the time, but I thought if you went there, then it would let you, um, like, give you 
give the Tanuki suits a bunch of coins and it would like give you a like the invincible Tanuki suit once again, which is funny. Because that means yeah. you suck if you have it. Of the Tanuki suit, let's talk about Luigi's Tanuki suit. Yeah. I like how Luigi gets the Tanuki suit, but it does not look good on him. Yes. Well, I mean, I can imagine Luigi in, a, in like Mario's Tanuki suit, it looks pretty awesome with that one. It's all like <laughs> white, pretty much. Okay, uh, looks like it's time for Zombie U now, and we can talk a little more. What? Before we start. I give it a 7.7. 7. I give it a 7.7 as well because, well, it was just a pain in the ass to beat. I mean, yeah. And also, it was originally going to be called Super Mario 3DS, so they'll probably make a sequel called that. Yeah. Because they changed it out the last second. Yeah. But anyway, that's all we have for Super Mario 3 Land. We will talk about this game some more if we have some ideas later in the future. Now let's move on to Zombie U, uh, upcoming Wii U game. Yes, and I can't wait for this game because, as the people from Nintendo of America and Nintendo of Japan have said, it's going to be quite badass. Yes, and also when I think of Zombie U, I also think of a similar game called Call of Duty Black Ops Zombie Mode. <laughs> yeah. And I enjoy that. I enjoy that mode, so I really think I'm going to enjoy Zombie U. Yeah, uh, I've been watching a bunch of the, uh, I've been playing a lot of the, well, or watching LPs of Left 4 Dead, and uh, I've been watching, what's it called, The Walking Dead, and I'm really getting interested in the zombies, so this game's going to be awesome. Yeah, yeah, and there's one feature that this game holds that none of us saw coming. You play a survivor and get various weapons, and if you die as, a, as your character, you move on to another survivor. So it's practically, you can't die, pretty much. You just move on to another life. Yeah. You don't have to restart. There are also similar modes as door hacking. Uh-huh. Where you can attach the door so you can escape the zombie. Neat. I don't know anything about this game. It's just that uh, from the title, if you look at it really closely, you could see a bunch of zombies at you. And, uh, well, the U at the end. That is a huge reveal. Because, like, if you guys. Yeah, and if you guys can remember back to the N64, like Banjo. Wait, no. Uh, oh, Super Mario. Mario Kart 64. It wouldn't have just been called Mario Kart 64 if it wasn't on the N64 system. So I'm guessing this means like Super Smash Bros. Universe is going to be a major thing for the Wii U. Yes, and also new Super Mario Bros. U. Yes. We will we'll also be getting that game sometime soon. Yes. And um, in Zombie U, um. Also, when I think of Zombie U, I think, how is Ubisoft doing a zombie game? That seems something Microsoft would do. Yeah, but then again, I guess Ubisoft has to cover up for the crappiness that Microsoft has been doing with their games. Because, think, they completely wrecked one of the best gaming developer things of, in Nintendo because they bought him out. So, great move, that Ubisoft. Is Also, in Zombie U, um, you can get, like, shotguns, shovels, pig axes, and tomahawks. That reminds me. That should remind <laughs> Okay, watch out when you turn. Okay, uh, that, basically, that should remind you of the trailer for Assassin's Creed 3 with your main character from the old games is a uh, like ancestor in the Revolutionary War. Yeah, I'm not really that much of a Assassin's Creed fan, but people say it's good, so I might try it one time. Yeah, if it comes out for the 3DS, which I hope it does, because I mean, uh, Revelations in Metal Gear Solid did, 
So if it comes out for the 3DS, I'm buying it in secret. <laughs> and also, I feel the Zombie U comes out for the 3DS instead of called Zombie 3D. Oh, uh, well, eh. It's gonna be great anyway. Hope it doesn't get the rating of, of like, something crazy, crazy. Well, uh, looks like that's the end, and crap. My rating for Zombie U would be, uh, 8.9. Black Falcon, what is your rating? Uh, from what I've heard, uh, this game is gonna be amazing, so my ratings for what I've heard is going to be 9.5. Uh, here are the credits, and we will be talking about future stuff. Credits. Idea. Uh, the idea came from, uh, Green Falcon and me. Uh. This, this video is pretty much directed by me, even though it's pretty crappy. The guest stars of this will be, eventually will be The Sexy Phoenix, Orange Falcon 171, and Pro 22 Notes, the guest stars won't appear until later episodes. Danny, would you like to tell us what our next episode's gonna be? Okay, our next episode for the first game will be Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, and the second game, Nintendo Land. Both upcoming games, but they look pretty good. Yes. And you can catch our next episode airing on Friday. We will be doing Nintendo Talk every Tuesday and Friday. And also a new series called Retro Nintendo Talk, like the old NES, SNES, and 64 games. Yes. What about and the Genesis? Like the Nintendo Talk covers the GameCube. The Wii, the DS, the 3DS, and the Wii U. Yes. So, we hope you enjoyed this episode. It's kind of a little crappy, but it will get better on each episode. Yes. So, this... And we might add some music in the end. Yeah. Well, yeah. Pretty much. So... So, that is basically episode one of Nintendo Talk again. We hope you enjoy it. Because yeah. we already have planned, like, the first five episodes of Retro, Nintendo Talk, and Nintendo Talk. Yeah. Uh, oh, and this is what I used to record Danny's voice. My phone. Looks like HAL 9000, though. So, this has been... Say your name. <laughs> anyway. This has been Nintendo Talk, people. We'll see you on the next episode. I just ended by the Chubbicon. Yeah. Bye.